Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. I am Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to add a texture to this model background. Okay, let's start the tutorial by using this uh, model and we want to add the texture as a part of the background. One of the easiest ways is to set the blending mode to soft light or to overlay depending on your texture and then you can add a mask to the texture, take the brush tool, set it to black, be sure that the flow is around 10% and start to paint on model's face and body to hide that texture from the face and the body. If you want to bring back parts of the texture, just set the color to the brush to the white and paint the parts that you want to be seen. Okay, so this is one way. The only problem with this method is that it will keep the original colors of the model and it doesn't really blend that well with the background. So let's move on to explain you other methods of blending the background better with the model. So let's delete the layer mask and Let's hide this texture for a while. Let's duplicate this background. And now let's take the object selection tool or press W and press select subject. Now let's take the lasso tool, hold Alt or Option and let's add this part also to the selection. Hold Shift if you want to add more parts and Alt or Option to subtract the parts of the selection. So with Shift to add, with Alt or Option you subtract. Because the object selection tool is not really perfect, we have to make some small adjustments. All right, so we selected the subject, let's press the mask and now we have our subject selected. I'm going to move the model. Let's call this one model. And also this one, let's call it model. And now if you can see, we have our model on top of everything and it has the same colors as the original model. So basically we didn't do anything. Let's hide this layer. Also let's hide the model and now set the blending mode to normal and take the eyedropper tool or press I and choose a color from the foreground and let's choose one which is which has some color in it so I'm going to choose this color now let's bring back everything set the texture back to overlay and now Let's create a solid color and we are going to use the color that we just picked from the background. Hold Alt or Option and as you can see I added that color to the model. Now let's set this color to soft light and as you can see it adds the same colors that we have in the background. Now I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer. And also, I'm going to add a photo filter. And let's choose another color. Say something like that. And now let's bring everything into one group. So hold shift and select all the layers. Place them in a group. So this is before and this is after. If you want to do more settings to the final image, you can press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I. This will bring everything into one layer. And now go to Filter and choose Camera Row Filter. We are going to play with the settings a bit. Those are the settings that I've used. You can copy them if you prefer. If not, you can use your own settings. Hit OK. Now let's move this layer into our group. Let's hide the group. As you can see, this is the original picture and this is our result. 
So this is our quick tutorial for today. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Thank you.